and welcome to Chair Yoga, uh, the Cudic Satellite of Lakeshore Foundation. My name is Carol Cudic, and I'm the Director of Fitness and Health Promotion at Lakeshore Foundation. And um, we hope everyone is well, you and your loved ones. I look forward to sharing this time with you this morning. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves comfortable. If you can't, give yourself a minute if you can't see the screen. Make sure you've got your device in a place where you can see it. Uh, we are going to be using a chair. I've got my chair set on a carpet so it's nice and secure. We'll do some seated work this morning and we'll do some standing work. Um, everything that we do standing can be done seated. And I'd like to introduce you to my trusty assistant here, Eli. Uh, whenever I want to, to, to learn how to become mindful and be in the moment, just take a look at Eli. He's, he's just got it down pat. He's a professional at it. So get yourself comfortable in your chair. You can sit back if that's, if that's best for you. I'm sitting forward a little bit because my legs are a little bit more on the petite side. So I like to be able to be connected to the floor. I've got my shoes off today. We're not going to be doing anything that has an impact. So it's kind of nice to just separate your toes and feel your feet. So let's get comfy in our chair, whatever that is for you. Plant our feet to the ground. Feel real secure. Now I invite you to close your eyes if that's a comfortable place for you, or gaze down so the light's not hitting you in the eye. Let's begin to enjoy our wonderful breath. Our breath is always there for us, giving us warmth, bringing us energy to our entire bodies. Just feel the breath. Let's begin our practice this morning, inhaling through our nose and exhaling. Our, our breath is rhythmical, it's soft, and it's strong, and all of those things at the same time. Continue to breathe, making each breath a tiny bit deeper. If you'd like to put a hand on your heart or your belly, so as you breathe more deeply, you can feel your heart, your lungs expand in your belly. You feel that breath exiting your body. As we breathe in, we breathe in security and warmth. And we breathe out anything negative. So we turn our hands to our thighs and just continue to enjoy our breath for a few more cycles of breath. You may like to set an intention for today's practice. And my intention today is going to be peace. Yours can be whatever resonates with you. And throughout practice, I will check in with myself and check in with my level of peace. And let's just begin to send all of our breath through our noses, in through the nose, out through the nose. And then we'll begin to move our head and neck lots of different ways, from side to side, up and down, whatever works for you. Remember, in yoga or any movement, we honor our bodies. We never want to take any part of our body to a place that causes discomfort or is not a good feeling. We never want to work to a point of pain. We want to feel good. So explore your neck. Open up those little cracks and pops. That'll make it easier for your breath to travel throughout your body bringing that wonderful energy. We're going to balance our head right on top of our neck and take a short virtual journey through our bodies, each one of us, starting with our feet, the toes, 
if you got your shoes off, your socks off, wiggle those toes, feel that air in between your toes. And anytime we, as we move through our bodies, if we find a place that's tight and uncomfortable, move it around a little bit, send some warm air there. Let's move upward into our lower leg, the calf, the shoulder, and then up past the knee into our thighs, all the different parts of our thighs, the front and the back and the side and the outside and the inner thighs, the hips, gently connected to the chair, and to that low back, the right side of the low back, and the left side. And then we lengthen our spine as if we're going to zip it all up, make ourselves nice and strong. Let's go ahead and open our eyes. Hopefully you're feeling a little more relaxed. I'm feeling that peace. And I'm going to move up a little bit more in my chair. You may choose to, to move upward or stay right where you are. So let's begin with some good movement. Let's start rocking from the feet, from heel to toe. Heel to toe, sending some flow, some energy upward into the leg. I'm going to send that right leg forward a little bit and begin to circle. Circle from the ankle. Yeah. And point and flex and point and flex. Beautiful. Let's send that left leg forward. You may not be able to see my feet right now, so just listen to my verbal cues. Circle the ankle, both directions, and point and flex, and point and flex. And let's return to the ground. Hands on the thighs. We're going to circle our upper body above our lower body, keeping it high. Maybe take it down a little bit low if that feels good for you. Getting that work. Let's go the other way. And as we return to the center, we'll do some seated cat and cows. Into our cat as we round our back clip and cut. And then unround, unbend, gentle arch into seated cow. Let's move back and forth from cat to cow. To cat. And cow. And then right in the center, we'll draw our arms to the side. Letting our shoulders release away from our ears, pressing our fingertips down to the ground, and we'll open up those fingertips, open up the wrists, all the different ways that our wrists can move. Let's reach up to the sky. Pressing through the feet, reaching up through the fingertips as we reach up on the right side, and then the left side, and the right. And the left, and the right, and the left. Little band. I hope you're beginning to feel that warmth, feel the joints opening up, getting a little bit looser. Let's drop our arms to the side and roll one shoulder at a time. Roll it back. Let's open up. The front of the shoulder gets a little tight sometimes, especially if we tend to maybe hunch forward when we're seated or standing. And I know we've all been spending a lot of time seated. Back and back. Wonderful. Let's shake it all out. Hands back down to the side and lifting with our shoulder blades as our shoulders move up toward our ears. And then we press it away. Let's inhale, lift. Exhale, press it away. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Now, just the right side. Let's isolate that right side. Up and away. And then the left side. Up and away. And the right. And the left. One more time on the right. And then one more time on the left. As we gently send our right arm back. Hold on to that chair, that left arm, and pull it across and move ourselves into our gentleness. But as always, we honor our bodies and never twist 
to a place of discomfort. Look over that shoulder and take a couple of breaths. Keep the chest in the heart. Let's move in the other direction. So look over that shoulder. Keep that chest open. Some good breaths. And let's flow from side to side. Easy. Open it all. One more time each way. And reach back to the center. We're going to begin some of our standing exercises. Then you can do everything we're doing standing in a seated position if that is preferable to you if you feel safe with that. But let's, with our hands on our thighs, bring ourselves up to a mountain pose. Now I'm going to come to the side of my chair today so you can see me. You can stay at the side or you may choose to stand at the back of the chair depending on whether you'd like to have one arm for support and balance or both arms. So standing at the right side of my chair and I'm at the left I'm going to do that opposite thing today. We're going to take the Left leg forward, toes pointed forward, and then that right leg, we going to send it back and open it up about halfway and bend into that left knee. So you may notice that we are in and getting into that warrior pose. We're going to do a lot of warrior poses today because we are warriors right now, aren't we? So let's bend in. If you feel comfortable releasing one arm or both, let's reach up to the sky. You can even gaze upward if your neck is okay with that. Reaching into warrior, connected to the ground. Now let's flow. Let's scoot back and scoot forward. We'll inhale as we shift back. Exhale as we shift forward. Breathe back. And forward. Let's hold that strong warrior one. Can you do that? Shoulders relax out of the knee. Let's drop the right arm down. And as we reach up through the left, we reach down through the right. Lengthening our spine, lengthening our bodies, staying connected to the ground. And let's gently bend to the right if your balance is okay with that. Remember, we can do all of this seated, even if we just do the other body part. Let's bend gently to the left and flow. Yeah. Getting warmer, getting more limber, we reach, we flow. Ah, let's go back up to the sky. And then we'll bring our hands to our hearts. And we're going to scoot back to mountain pose. Legs. Hip width apart, tall spine. Let's inhale up to the sky and exhale our hands to our hearts. And just feel this change in movement. If you'd like to and you feel balanced, close your eyes for a few breaths and connect with your body. Find that peace, find that energy, or keep them open. Let's open those eyes. We're going to move into a tree pose. So we'll hold on to the chair to start, or not, and send that right leg out to the side. And pivot from the hip. What are you doing down there, Eli? He knows how to relax, doesn't he? There we go. Let's open up that hip. Stay tall, and we'll pull that leg in. So we can stay connected to the ground with our toes, or lift up to the lower leg. Some of you might be really flexible and be able to lift to the thigh. Let's hold that tree pose. Lengthening the spine. Wonderful. Here come some options here. We can stay right here in a static move, or we can reach one or both of arms up to the sky. Can you feel that balance? Ah, let's take it back down. I can tell I haven't been working on that enough as I've been home. Wonderful. Let's take it back now and walk out the legs. Walk out those legs. Let's try that again. Let's send it out. 
Let's pull it in. Let's reach up. One arm or both. Feel that balance. And hold it. Let's take it down. And we get that. I'm going to go to the other side of the chair and work on the other leg. So this time, we will bring the right, the left forward and down. And the right back. And let's turn it out. Bend into that front leg. One arm up or both. And we are in warrior one. We're strong, we're connected. And let's flow. Let's reach back. Shift our bodies back, shift our bodies forward, shift back, shift forward, shift back. Remember, you can be in the back of your chair if that's more comfortable for you, and hold that strong one you want. Let's drop that left arm, reach up through the right, down through the left, lengthening the spine, and gently bend. To the left and to the right. And to the left. And to the left. And to the left. Keeping our head in line with our neck. And let's reach all the way up. Big stretch up. Bend to our hearts. Let's step back here to mountain pose. As we walk out our legs, and we'll move into tree. So holding on or not, let's send that left leg out and pivot from the hip. Connected to the right foot. Let's pivot, and we'll pull into tree, staying connected with our toes on the ground or in the lower leg. Let's see the upper leg if that works for you. Holding our tree, feeling our balance, find focus. And let's reach one or both arms up to the sky. Focus, focus. Hold that tree. Breathe. And then we'll come back down, back to mountain pose. Walk those legs out until you get again. Let's move into tree one more time. Out. Pivot. Open. Slide that leg in. Find your comfortable place. With the right arms, reach up to the sky. Hold oh, that strong, strong tree. We're blooming it. It's springtime. Take it down and back. I'm going to step behind the chair. I think you can see me just fine. We're going to do some warrior two work. I like warrior two work because it, it lets us open up those hip flexors a little bit. So start from the from the center and then step wide. And wide is whatever your wide is. If you can, try to get wider than the back of the chair, but don't take it to a place that's uncomfortable. We're going to begin with our feet, knees, everything straight ahead. Let's zip it up. Lengthen our spine. Legs are not locked. They're straight but not locked. Let's send one or both arms out to the side. Palms down right now. As we reach across to the right, reach across to the left. We're going to take our palms up. And as we bring our palms down, let's gaze over to the right. Palms up. Gaze to the front. Palms down, gaze over to the right. Palms up, palms down, gaze, and we are ready to shift our lower body into warrior two. Let's take that left leg from the hip, turn it into our bellies, and then the right leg, turn it to the side, and we'll sweep it into warrior two. Our chest is open, we're extending, Across the chest, extending across the back. Hold. And now let's flow, let's unbend. Gaze forward, gaze right and flow. Reach it up, gaze forward, 
reach it right. One more time, big reach up. Gaze and let's move and hold into warrior two like that. Strong, connected. Reach, 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 reach. And now let's turn that right palm up to the sky. And the left arm either to the chair, to the leg, or around the back. And we are in reverse warrior. Lots of warriors today. We are warriors. Reach. Let's take it back into that glorious warrior two, nice and open. And we'll turn into reverse warrior. Warrior two, once more. Good deep breath. And let's release. Give our shoulders a break and come back to the front. As we shake those hips out a little bit, walk out the legs, shake out anything that needs shaking right now. All right, legs, feet, everything facing front as we get ready to do our warrior on the other side. Let's release one or both arms. Shoulders out of our knees. Reaching across to the left, across to the right. Chest open, back expanded. Palms up, we're going to gaze forward. Palms down, let's gaze left this time. Palms up, gaze forward. Palms down, gaze left. Palms up, gaze forward. Palms down, gaze left. And let's move our lower body into our warrior two. We'll turn that right leg, pivot it from the hip, toward our balance, and the left leg to the side, and sweep into warrior two. It is strong, it's connected. Enjoy. And now let's flow, let's gaze forward, reach up, and flow to the left. Inhale, reach up, flow to the left. Again, and flow, holding it right here. Turning that palm, right arm goes either to the chair, to the thigh, around the back, and look up into reverse warrior. Of course, if that's okay with your neck, to look up. Moving back into warrior two. And reverse, reach. Warrior two, once more. And relax. And let's come back behind the chair to bring our legs hip width apart. Deep breath in. And exhale to our hearts and our standing mountain pose. Another option here to close your eyes for a few breaths, if that's comfortable for you. Just feel your body, all the things, wonderful things it's been doing in this practice this morning. Open our hands, open our eyes, back to the chair, and let's move from heel to toe. Heel to toe. And heel. Now, let's stay up on those toes, feel those strong calves, and press it back down. I'm going to move to my side so you can see. You may want to stay behind your chair. We're going to do a chair move. So feet, okay. hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider. Nice and strong here through the spine, beginning holding onto the chair. Thinking about this movement coming mainly from the hips to start. Looking straight ahead, sit back in your hips. Back into your hips. Keep the belly strong, contracted, and let's move up. You can stay up high, you can take it down low, stay holding with the chair, or if you're feeling good balance, let's inhale up. And exhale our hands to our hearts. And inhale up. Exhale our hands to our hearts. Once more. Hands to our hearts. And hold focus. Feel that strength. Feel that balance. 
connection to the ground. And let's inhale up. Hands to our hearts once more. We'll step back. Let's walk around to the front of our chair. Get ourselves in a good place to lower ourselves. Let's reach up. And then let's exhale, supporting with our thighs or not. We come all the way back down to the chair and find our comfortable place, our connected place in the chair. Let's start out with some cat and cows. Let's exhale and cat. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. And sit up nice and tall. We'll raise that right leg up. Left leg connected. Chest is open. And that left arm goes up. Big reach. Let's release. And take the left up and the right. Big reach. Take it there. Let's flow opposite sides. This is our seated spinal balance. Reach. Reach as far as your body is comfortable. Take care of your shoulders. Reach. We want to move them. The last thing we want is for them to hurt. So reach in your comfort zone. All right, let's take it back. We're going to take our legs a little bit wide here. Again, to try to get some openness. And we'll take it into a, a little bit wider twist. Over, looking over that shoulder. Taking a few breaths. And on the other side, looking over that shoulder. Taking a few breaths. It flows from side to side. And then reach. And reach. And reach. And reach. And one more. Up, taking it back to the center. How are you feeling? How's your intention going? I'm feeling pretty peaceful. I'm feeling really good. So being comfortable here once again. Let's keep that lower body moving. And work a little bit more on our hips as we shift from side to side. Shifting our weight. Get that muscle a little squeeze back there. Yeah. Shift. We'd like to add an arm. Start with that right arm, reach across. Let your eyes follow your hand as you reach. Continue to limb everything up. And switch to the arm, big reach over, and across, and reach, and across. One more time, and across. Hands up to the sky, and then our hands to our hearts. We'll move into our, one of my favorite parts of this practice is our Shavasana at the end where we get to just really enjoy everything we've done. So once again, I invite you to close your eyes or gaze in, whatever is your comfort. And once again, we'll enjoy our breath. Check in with our heartbeat. Revisit our intention for today's practice. Add any movement that you like. I love to move my head and neck a little bit when I do this. Remember how your body felt at the beginning of our practice today when we did our little journey. Let's return to that journey, that virtual journey, starting with our feet and toes, and slowly move up through our body. As it feel now? Is it warmer? Is it loose? Is it saying thank you for giving me this wonderful movement today?
And while we're being so virtual, you may enjoy again taking your butt self to your happy place right now. And that's where that is. It might be a class, might be with some friends. Of course, we have to do it virtually. So go there. But you see, I just feel. Hopefully it makes you want to smile. So it makes me happy to think you all are out there practicing with me this morning. I can't see you, but I can hear you. Let's open our eyes. Take a big breath in. Hands to our hearts. And we'll drop our chins. And lift. Thank you for joining us this morning. <laughs> Couple of things I hope um, that you are really honoring your body. Remember, during this time when we're home, some of us are alone. Any movement that we do is is valuable. It doesn't have to be a certain type. It doesn't have to look a certain way. It just has to feel good. Take care of yourself. Take every opportunity to keep yourself moving. I know you don't have the typical classes and equipment that you like. Explore. I bet you a lot of you have learned how to use technology a little bit more than you thought you might. I know I have. Um, try to think of getting all those components of fitness into your days. A little cardio, something to get that heart pump up in your lungs. Some strengthening moves, whether it's squats or lifting, or whatever works for you, and flexibility, and most of all, that common peace that we need. If you need a little inspiration, think Eli. He's the professor of, of peace and mindfulness. Thank you for joining.